Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So it's you know it's obviously a great honor to be you know between the four or five best series in the world. I mean it's you know what what can you say? You know the series has been had some had some some success was sold in the U.S. and everything, but this is like recognition from the profession. So it's it's, it's perfect. I just got a. I call my wife. I guess. <laughs> yeah, she's expecting the call. So either way, either way, it doesn't matter. Really, uh, very strong competition. Very from all over the world, from Singapore, from Hong Kong. You know, that's fine. It's great to be here. Yeah. And then, what's uh, what are you gonna do if you find out you've won tonight? Text or SMS <laughs> to my friend in France uh, because uh, le décalage horaire. The jet lag, the difference. Yeah. Time the difference of time, time it's complicated. They sleep in. <laughs> but text or. For my daughter first. Well, it all started because I found out that uh, my mother, who was born in 1933 in Germany, had a songbook which used children's songs, but also Hitler's propaganda songs. And 70 years after the event, she could still remember those songs. So this is when the idea was created in my mind that music can also be used as an instrument of power. And researching it, I found out that it was also used as an instrument of torture in prison camps. And this is really when the film started. Well, it, it would be an absolute honor if that happened. Um, we try not to be too excited about it, but it would be nice. Chester. Oh, really? So I had like this uh, uh, cultural understanding of the UK since I was very young. Well, I got a, an email actually from my agent saying congratulations on the, the International Emmy nomination. I was like, what? Uh, you know, what, what about you? Same. I, I just heard about it on the press. I didn't even, I didn't actually know, know we'd entered, but I'm very happy that we did. <laughs> Sometimes these, are, it's best this way. You know, if you're yeah. expecting or you know that the, the nominations are coming out and you're hoping, but when it's a surprise like this, it's... Yeah. I mean, you don't think about that when you're making a project that, that you're proud of and, and that's Australian born and grown. This is like the Olympic Games for TV. It's uh, it is the the highest accolade that we can get. So uh, the only problem is there's only a gold medal, no no silver or bronze. The creative people in Korea right now is really trying hard to communicate uh, to the rest of the world. So I think it's starting to show a little bit. Yeah. Puedo decir que estoy muy orgullosa de participar en una serie que trabaja sobre la discriminación y que me parece que es un tema importante en todo el mundo. Pero entendemos que el problema de la xenofobia es muy grande. Espero que gane, el, eh, no importa, estar aquí ya para mí es, es importante, entonces hay muy buenos actores, hay un actor noruego estupendo, hay un actor inglés muy bueno, eh, pues nada, espero pasar una, una noche muy agradable con algunos colegas y amigos de, de mi país que también están aquí.
Brazil for the illusions. Mauro Mendoza Filho, director. Geraldo Paniru, writer. <laughs> when is Jennifer coming back? To the I don't show? know. I don't know. She is coming back, though, right? I don't know. But she's a friend, and I, I you know, I hope she's doing good. And um, you know, I love working with her, so we'll see what happens. All right. Well, good luck. And I, on the most show. important is that she's she's okay. That's most important. Yeah, this way.